How do you use different scene transitions for different scenes? I worked it out. <laughs> Let me show you. What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today we're going to talk about how to add different transitions to different scenes in Streamlabs OBS. This took me way longer to work out than it needed to. So please let me explain it. Let me show you how to do it and then you guys can use wicked transitions between different scenes. So let's go. <laughs> now we're gonna jump straight into Streamlabs OBS. I've downloaded a completely new theme. We're gonna start from scratch and I'm gonna show you how to do it because it's really easy. All right, now opening up straight away, you can see that we've got our starting soon screen up. Uh, now, if you go in between specific themes, you're gonna see that most of them have a really nice animated stinger transition. So if we go to our live scene, You'll see there it's got a nice swirly pattern and that's going to be our stinger transition. So no matter what scene we go to, every single scene is going to have that same transition. Which isn't a bad thing, it looks fantastic, but if you want to go from a live screen to your intermission screen and you don't want that there, or if you want your BRB screen to be really snappy and really quick and you don't want that there, whatever the situation is going to be, I'm going to show you how to make it easier for you. So. Let's go straight to our starting screen. Let's go to this little gear above the scenes and that's going to open up your scene transition pop-up. So at the moment we've only got one transition, it is a global transition and it is a stinger which means it's that animated sort of look and it is a default which means that every single scene shares the same transition. So to fix that what we're going to do is we're going to click add transition, we're going to go through type and there's going to be cut fade, swipe, slide, so on and so forth. A bunch of different kinds of transitions that you can use and adapt. Now a cut is gonna be a quick snap to the next frame. You've got a fade, which is obviously gonna fade in to the next one. A swipe, swipes across, slide. You, you get the idea, okay? They're different kinds of transitions. We'll go through a couple of different ones so you can see what they look like and how to link them with their connections. If that doesn't make sense, it will in a second. So we're gonna just do a quick cut we're going to change the transition to cut so it makes it a lot easier to understand and we're just going to keep the duration at 300. You can change that later if it's a bit choppy but for right now we're going to keep it at 300. So even though we've got cut in there, global transition is still our default because that's what we want it as. We don't want to make the cut the default because if we did do that, every single scene we go to, instead of having our nice swirly pattern, now we're going to have those quick hard cuts into the next scene. which. You can use if you want, but if you don't want that, I'll show you how to fix it. So we're gonna go back to default with the global transition, which is our stinger. So we're gonna click connections, we're gonna click add connection, and we're gonna make the beginning scene, the live scene, we're gonna use the cut transition that we just made, and we're gonna do the ending scene on the B right back. Just in case you've gotta quickly duck out of the room and you don't want the transition, or whatever the situation is gonna be, that's what we're gonna use for the example. So we're gonna click done, now you can see in connections live to be right back is going to have a hard cut. So if we go to our live scene, if we go from live to intermission, you still see the transition, which is the, the swirly global stinger. Now if you go from live to be right back, it's a hard cut. But if you go from be right back back to live, it still has that global transition. So the way that you fix that is go back to transitions, click connections. Now you want to add a connection, but you want to do everything that's here in reverse. So you want to go from your be right back screen, you want to add your cut, and you want to do that to your live screen. Click OK. And now what you have is you have essentially exactly the same thing, but reversed. So when you go back into your live screen, it's a hard cut as well. So I'll show you what that looks like. So from live to be right back to hard cut, there's no swirly transition. Back to live, another hard cut. So that's a good way for using a cut transition. I wouldn't use it from a live to be right back because if you are gonna go to a be right back screen, it's probably nice to have that stinger transition to break it up. What I like to use a hard cut for is if I'm going from, let's say a live screen where you've got my gameplay and my webcam and I wanna punch into a zoom and I don't have to have that swirly global stinger every single time I do that. So I can do a hard cut in, hard cut back to the gameplay. Or I can go like a hard cut into my face. If I'm talking to an intermission and I wanna do a hard cut into like a wide angle on my face, I can do that and then back into the intermission screen. So if you wanna add more transitions, you can absolutely do that. Click transition, let's do a swipe. 
So we'll call this one swipe, same deal. Makes it nice and easy for you to remember. Now you can choose which way you wanna do it, when you wanna go up, down, left or right. We're just gonna to stick to a left swipe for the sake of the video. Uh, click done, go to connections. Now we're gonna make our starting screen into our intermission screen. So if we wanna start the stream with us talking in our intermission screen, we can do that. So we're gonna go from starting, swipe into our intermission for whatever reason if you wanna do that. Now if we go done, back to our starting screen. So now when we click on our intermission screen, we should have a hard swipe left, which is fantastic. No Tinder jokes. It's literally as simple as that. So now every time we go from our live to our be right back, it's a hard cut. Back to our live is a hard cut. If we go from our starting screen to our intermission screen, it's a swipe left. If we wanna change that and do say a different kind of stinger. So if you have a different video file that you wanna use as a new stinger, you can add that as well. There's, there's endless possibilities with these new cuts. As I said, this took me a hell of a lot longer than it should have, but that's why I wanna tell you about it. If you don't know how to do it, now you do. It's, it's simple. Now, if you wanna see how I use these transitions in my stream, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at twitch.tv forward slash the game department. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Feel free to come say, hey, introduce yourself, we're a great bunch of people. Also, if you want to join a fantastic Discord community, I will leave the link to our server below. We have a great bunch of people. Talk about memes, talk about games, talk about sh streaming, talk, just talk about everything. You, you'll find a friend, I promise. 2020 is getting better. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the content I post, I post videos every Thursday. Feel free, chuck a subscribe, put the notifications on so you don't miss the next video. You won't regret it. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you have a good morning. I hope you have a good night. Bye.